So today I'm going to be making a dessert or treat, whatever you want to call it, using watermelon. I love watermelon. Now, it's there's a twist to it though. We're going to be taking the watermelon out and not using the watermelon part. We're going to be using the the rind for this dessert. Now, I'm going to be eating the watermelon. I'm not going to waste it. Um, I love watermelon. Absolutely love it. But I like um, my watermelon cold and I like putting salt on it. I know some people think that's disgusting. It's not healthy if you put salt on it. It really isn't. But I was watching a YouTube video where people were actually deep frying a watermelon. They put a coating on it I don't, I don't even know what it was but they deep fried it and I was like you got to be kidding me but to each their own I mean what we're doing here is kind of weird too but I don't know it kind of it seemed fun to me so I thought why not we'll try it I've never done this before so we'll just see how it goes now you're supposed to use a big watermelon as you can see this one is one of those personal watermelons is what they call it just a little tiny thing because I don't have enough people here uh, to experiment with this on I mean normally I will buy a big watermelon because well we can eat it but to try this out I don't know so that's why I'm using a small one. I don't know how this is going to work. I, I don't know how it would work, me trying a, a large watermelon, let alone a small one. So it can be a complete disaster. Plus, I'm do, not doing it the way that I've seen them do it. So we'll just see. It could be a complete disaster. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause while I, I cut this, I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to take the watermelon, I'm going to scoop it out, put it in a Tupperware bowl, put it in the refrigerator. Like I said, I, I don't even know if I already said it or not. Um, I'll use it for a smoothie or I, I know I already said I'll, I'll eat it raw too. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that and then I'll explain what I'm going to be doing. Okay, now that I have that done, this is what we have. It's all hollowed out. So now I'll tell you what I'm doing since I didn't even uh, do that to begin with. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be filling these up with fruit. And now I got, I have got uh, a gnat in here and a fly. Don't, don't know where they came from. Just one gnat I seen and a fly. But anyways. I'm going to be filling these up with fruit, and there it goes again. Fruit and a gel and jello. So this is good for, I guess, if you're going to a get together, or and you want to bring a weird, a weird dish, or if you just want to uh, make something for the kiddos. Uh, a healthy treat or a healthy snack instead of candy um, a refreshing snack I don't know <laughs> something different um, it's easy to make you know you gotta cut it of course you don't want the kiddos messing with the knife but it is simple so simple uh, from what I saw <laughs> we'll see how it turns out that that's the important part so I went ahead and I already had some fruit here you can and I already have it in a, in a bowl you could put whatever you want now I should have went and I wanted to get some like papaya or some kiwi or something like that to put in it too but I, I just didn't feel like going uh, back to the store and getting that so what I have in here 
in this bowl if you can see my setup is always horrible whenever I do any type of cooking things um, I have strawberries I have grapes I have pineapple and I have blackberries now what I'm afraid of is and these blackberries are huge I, I did cut them in half but what I'm afraid of is the blackberries are gonna run and turn everything a weird color so I don't have that many in there at all but you go ahead and you, you put getting a little confused here my dogs are looking at me like it's about time for me to go out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some fruit in here and like I said I'm not putting that many blackberries in because I am afraid that the color it's just going to bleed all over the place. Look, that one has a lot of blackberries in there. I mean, it might not be a bad thing, but the difference that I'm doing from what I saw others do is they fill the fruit completely to the top. And I'm not going to do that. Now, you can also you can also use the pineapple or not the pineapple, I'm sorry. I might have to put this on pause real quick. My my dogs they do come first. But um you can use, I, I, I think, I don't think it would be a problem to use the watermelon as part of the fruit. I'm just trying to equal it out here. That was um, in here, but I never seen, uh, when you know, on the, the people that I've seen do this, I never seen them do it, use the watermelon. So I'm just not... I'm not going to try to. I don't think it would be a big deal. But anyways, they would fill it all the way to the top. But when I seen the end result, you didn't see... On one of them, I seen a lot of jello uh, and not a whole lot of fruit. And I'm like, uh, something doesn't seem right about that. I think um, they might have... They might have did something. They kind of fudged that video or the pictures or something like that. And it's not real because they really filled up the top completely to where it didn't look like there would be that much jello at all. As a matter of fact, I might take some of the fruit out. I don't know because I want to be able to have more of the jello in there. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and another thing that I seen them use was the unflavored gelatin. Now, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I am using watermelon. I, I guess that's another reason why I'm not using uh, the watermelon, you know, as part of my fruit in here to, either. Um... But I'm using the watermelon jello. So you might not see the fruit as a finished product. You might not be able to see it as well, you know, because this is colored. Unlike the clear um, gelatin that I've seen everybody else use. Um, I don't know. I, I like watermelon jello, so I, that's why I'm using this. And I figure this is a watermelon treat, kind, whatever. But, anyways, um, if you wanted to make a treat, if you wanted to try this and you're doing it for someone that's diabetic, you can. I have not been able to find like the watermelon um, that's. Um, 
unsweetened, but they do have a lot of uh, Jello that's unsweetened uh, in different flavors. You don't even have to use watermelon. Some people don't like watermelon. Uh, you can use any flavor, I think, or you can use the clear gelatin and you can put honey in it and that would make this a very healthy snack for kids with no sugar, just pure fruit. And um, I don't know, I, I just myself, I would, I don't think I would want to eat unflavored gelatin that just maybe it wouldn't taste bad with the fruit I don't know and I think the presentation would look prettier than what this is gonna look because I just don't think it's gonna show through this this might all be a hot mess anyways I don't know but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on pause while I go ahead and mix the gelatin up or jello whatever it's not gelatin jello um, because it, everybody knows how to make jello right you boil the water you mix it with the cold water and not only that but i'm gonna let my dogs out so i'll come back when i get this mixed up now i have two boxes i don't know how much this is gonna take um and they never said either they didn't so i'm gonna go ahead and mix up the two boxes because if i have any left over then I'll just put it in the refrigerator and I'll eat it later. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the jello done. Basically, it's for one box. You boil a cup of water and then put a cup of cold water in for two boxes. Boil two cups of water. I mean, it's right on the box, right? But at this point, if you wanted to, if you were going to an adult party, you could, um, instead of water, the cold water, you could use adult beverage and put in there, and you could soak your fruit in that adult beverage if one was going to an adult get together or if you were having you know an adult party at your house where no kiddos are going to get a hold of this stuff and then you would have one big old um jello shot with this but of course that's not what we're making just saying and then you got to make sure that the kiddos don't get a hold of it right but anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna start putting uh this jello i mixed it up really good i'm just gonna start pouring it in this first one like i said i might go ahead and take some of the fruit out we're just gonna see Maybe not. Maybe that's why they said, um, I don't know why they put the fruit all the way to the top. Who knows? I, I don't know. Just experimenting here. Now I'm going to put this kind of want that all mixed up and that seems like the grapes are going to the bottom <laughs> like I said I have no idea how this is going to turn out I really really don't um, it seems like some of the fruit is going to the bottom and others are floating to the top maybe that's why you're supposed to fill it all the way up I don't know maybe we're just gonna see what happens when it's done but I'm gonna go ahead and put this one yes <laughs> the grapes are like going to the bottom the blackberries to the top I don't know 
I'm going to put this one in the refrigerator. Um, I'm going to put it in a bowl so it sits just like this, and then we'll get to the other one. Okay, now I'm going to fill this one up. It's not rocket science. I guess two boxes, I'm going to put the little bit in here. I guess two boxes is about what we needed for the personal watermelon. So to get a big one, um, hmm, I guess you would just have to guess on that. And maybe we should have. Uh, <laughs> filled this all the way with fruit but you know what I I don't know from what I seen you just didn't get a lot of the jello or at least it didn't look like it I don't know well we'll see what it looks like uh, when we take these out I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the refrigerator five to six hours is what they say so we'll come back and see what they look like could be a complete fail I don't know but I'm still gonna eat it um, the jello no matter what should set up the fruit still good so uh, I'm not gonna waste perfectly good fruit <laughs> so anyways we'll, we'll come back and see what it looks like okay so we are back and our jello has set we're going to try to cut this. Now, I was going to try to cut it a different way. And we're not going to do that. So, And I'm just going to do this one. I'm not going to cut up both of them. I was going to try to cut it this way. But we'll just see. Again, this might just be a hot mess. Don't know. <laughs> Don't know how this is going to work. But anyways, we're just going to... This is really a sharp knife, but huh? <laughs> it still looks like a hot mess. I mean, it's not what I thought, but. Not how the picture looked, but hey, it's never how the picture looks. Make sure I don't cut my hands here. We're just going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. So, go ahead and put this on pause and cut the rest of them. Okay, I went ahead and cut it up. I had to pull it close to me so that I can try to cut with that knife. My knife is sharp. Well, I don't know. Maybe it needs to be sharpened. I have no clue. So, I have this cute little, I don't know if you can see, this little watermelon dish here. So, anyways, I don't know. The concept is kind of there. <laughs> it's still a little hot mess, but I'm sure it tastes good. You got your little watermelon jello going on there. It's it's sticking. Um, I got quite a bit of fruit going on there. I'm going to eat it. Um, I think, in my opinion... In my opinion, using the gelatin, like I've seen others do, that might have made it better. <laughs> I don't know. But I just, 
maybe stick more to this. I mean, it's sticking pretty good, but I don't know. It was an experiment. Probably kind of a fail, but if you got kids at the house, this would be great to do. But if you were like going to a get together or something and you wanted to try something weird, um, I would probably stick with doing uh, the gelatin, the clear gelatin, because that seemed to work better from what I seen. Um, it seemed to hold everything better, uh, especially when you cut it and they actually cut it in slices for presentation. I don't know. I mean, you're just gonna gonna eat this stuff anyway. So anyways, there it is. Um, I would say it's a, a fail for presentation, but I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna eat one. Um, just, I'm gonna eat this one here. The blueberry, or the blueberry, the blackberry did kind of run there, but I'm gonna try it out. Mmm, it does taste really good. Watermelon, jello is the bomb. And you got the fruit. I say it's good. <laughs> so, something just uh, off the wall to make. Now, my daughter and I, we made one year with watermelon. We took one of those personal watermelons. Uh, I might post a picture on my community wall and show it. We made a, we had like a, a bunch of fruit and we had, um, some like cream cheese we, we had to get together at my house uh like I said many years ago and we had like a a cream cheese uh it was a sweetened cream cheese type dip you guys all know what I'm talking about I'm sure and then we had of course chocolate dip for the fruit but we used one of the personal watermelons and we made it look like a grill. Uh, it actually had like the celery for the, the legs. But I might post a, a picture of that on my community wall. Just some crazy stuff that we used to do. Um, I, I don't even know why. I, we just seen it. S someone did it. I think it was maybe on Pinterest. I'm not even sure. But we decided to try it. It was like the centerpiece of all this fruit that we had around the table but anyways this is really good um just something weird to try and again if you're going to uh, an adult party uh, but i would recommend to use the gelatin the unflavored gelatin uh you can it, if you don't want to put the honey, you can you can put sugar in it. Absolutely, you can do that too. Uh, so it, it doesn't taste ick. But I, I don't know. I like uh, the watermelon jello. Or, you know, you can use whatever kind you want. And like I said before, um, when you do use the clear, when it's clear, you're going to see all that fruit. It's just going to be like crystal clear and you'll see all that. But anyways, it was just another fly-by-night video. Kind of break things up and didn't turn out like I wanted it to. But hey, who cares, right? It is what it is. I'm going to eat it. And then I have all that watermelon too that I can enjoy. So... We'll just catch up again on I don't know what. I'm going to do some more uh, cooking videos or weird videos and kind of get away from doing so much of the drama stuff. So everyone have a wonderful weekend and we'll talk to you again.